Hello everyone, and today we're taking a look at Tomb Who's Raider. The to go into the music room? Uh, specifically Tomb Raider running on a modern PC, and we're using one of the source ports for Tomb Raider. Uh, this is Open Lara. Okay, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. And that's this is uh, an open source conversion. It's running via RetroArch, and we are running at 1440p. Now press and... it again and quickly press one of the directions, and I'll jump And 104, or oh, targeting 144 FPS here. Um, so this is quite an interesting. Um, it's quite interesting to play on the uh, RetroArch. It's just a conversion. We're using the PlayStation One version, so we get the music in it. Um, you can use the PC version. You need it is just the Tomb Raider engine designed to run on a modern PC, um, but you have to provide it with assets. So you can use the PlayStation assets, and as you can see here, you can play it in first person mode as well. And you can look down at Lara's uh, triangle boobs, and yeah, oh, you can do the flip and you can jump, and the camera doesn't flip across uh, when you do the jump there. Ah, um... oh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage and the delivery people haven't been yet. Bloody delivery people. Yeah, so this is Lara's home you can do. You can do all of the levels. Again, you just put the assets in. And while still pressing forward, press action and I'll vault up onto it. So you can use any of the assets. PC, um, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. I like the fact she's got the Ark of the Covenant in her front room. Like, I, I like that. That's just sitting there in, in the entranceway. Maybe she raided that warehouse at the end of Indiana Jones. That's where she got all the crates from, including the Ark of the Covenant, because that's where they put it at the end. Uh, so, yeah, you can do, you know, run around Lara's home and do the tutorial level. Um, the only thing is the cutscenes didn't really work very well, um, because, again, it's quite difficult uh, to get the cutscenes. But can you do your little... Oh, yeah, you can do a little uh, handstand. A little handstand maneuver, and you can do it in first person as well. You press, uh, we're using an Xbox One controller, so it's L, B, and A to go into first person. Uh, so you can bring up the RetroArch menu here, um, and again, you've got all the options uh, that RetroArch has uh, here. Uh, you can uh, put cheats in there, you can put uh, anything that basically you can do. It is a RetroArch core, it's just called Tomb Raider. Uh, and it's just called Open Lara. As you can see here, resolution, we're going with 1440p, and the frame rate is set at 144. The frame timing's a bit off, but it's hard really to notice that there. So you just press F1 to access. It is Open Lara, you'll see there uh, in RetroArch, and you can access all the RetroArch uh, things there. You can access everything there. Um, I haven't tried putting anything in there. You've also got access to like the menu here. Um, you can restart levels. You can load games. We've got a few saves there. Uh, the save files do work. You can see by the PlayStation controller there um, that we are running the PS1 version. It doesn't really make any difference which version you run. Uh, you can hear the music though, uh, which is from the PS1 version. So if you want the music in there and you want the cutscenes to work, you have to go with the PS1 version. I don't know what simple items is, I've no idea what that is. Uh, but everything's up high anyway, so you can access the menu, there's Lara's Home. Uh, you can also uh, fire up a new game if you want and then the cutscenes work. Because what happens is if you load up the level... Uh, just the individual level from the PlayStation uh, disc. What you have to do is convert, extract the level data from the disc. Uh, because again, it's just an engine. Uh, this is, it's just the Tomb Raider game engine, Open Lara is, so you need to provide it with files. And of course, the files are copyrighted. That's how they get around sort of copyright law uh, there, because it doesn't supply you with any of the assets. Uh, you have to supply your own. Uh, but the, the cutscene runs pretty good. I mean, the PC one, again, doesn't do the FMV cutscenes nor the music, whereas the PS1 and the Sega Saturn version, I'm guessing, has the cutscenes. You see Lara Croft about to sacrifice this dude to some wolves. I think he dies, doesn't he, that dude down there? I'm pretty sure he gets killed. Killed by wolves. It's a T-Rex also in this. That was one of the famous scenes. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's gonna die. I like the fact that she's just quite nonchalant about saving him. Does she save him? Oh, Lara, you made Lara mad. No, no, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. She's like. Ah, who cares? I 
Oh, we don't get to see her with her sunglasses on. I suppose she's indoors now, so we don't need her sun. So there we are, Tomb Raider, the first level. You can see the tracks on the ground of the, uh, the wolves that killed our poor friend, who shall remain nameless. Don't look at her triangular boobs. So yeah, you can play the whole game in first person if you want. Uh, the controls are still the same, so, you know. You can also play two-player co-op as well. You can have two Lara Crofts running around. Uh, that is another option, right? Right, Lara Croft, let's avoid these things, like Indiana Jones. Oh, we got caught with one of them. No matter. So yeah, the controls work as you'd expect. You can, again, use a controller. It is compatible. Uh, well, retro any controller that works in RetroArch should be compatible. Uh, so we use, I'm using an Xbox One controller, uh, but you can use any controller that's recognized by RetroArch, including like things like the PlayStation Mini controllers. There's even a port of this. You can get this for Xbox One uh, and Xbox Series S and X as well. You can get that for them. There is a port that exists uh, for that. Uh, so that's the good thing about Open Lara is it is a source port, so it can be ported to anything. And RetroArch, you know, technically anything runs in RetroArch. So there you go, you've got the full access to your inventory. We've got the med pack there, we've got the little secret area. Let's climb down gently so we don't hurt Miss Croft. And let's go murder some endangered species. We murder tigers, we murder bats, we murder wolves, a T-Rex even. <laughs> Go in and do this. I think every, everything is present and correct there. Shoot them bats. Lara Croft hates endangered species. Are bats endangered species? I don't think they are, but you know. Shoot them in first person as well. God, took it a long time to kill them. It's just auto aim that you get in this. Took it a long time to kill them. I think we go down that way, but let's go explore a bit and jump around. But yeah, the game is, I mean, it controls pretty much similar to the PS1 version, as you would expect. Uh, the problem with the PC version nowadays is um, that even if you buy it on Steam or GOG, it just runs in DOSBox. So it doesn't run with 3D hardware acceleration enabled, and it only runs at low resolutions. And you can really, the controller support is spotty at best. So this is quite a nice alternative to that. I mean, you can see we're getting, you know, 1440p. You can get up to 4K. I think Xbox One X, Xbox Series X, they should be able to run this at 4K. Because you can get it. You have to put it into developer mode. Uh, and again, you can install RetroArch on the Xbox consoles. I think it's like $20 to buy retro mode, to buy access to it. Uh, or not retro mode, developer mode. You have to get it on the Xbox store and it basically allows you to run sort of unassigned code. So one of the programs that you can run is Open Lara. There is a native port of Open Lara and there's also RetroArch. So this will this is running via the RetroArch core. Um, and it should run on most things. I haven't tried it on anything. Apparently it runs on like the Super Nintendo Mini as well. You can run it on that. Because um, again that supports RetroArch, although there is a native port to that, someone made that port there. You still got like the 2D rocks there that run around, and that's the end of the level through there. Through that 2D uh, sort of bamboo there. Just run around in the first person mode with our sort of square guns there. Let's go climb up and then do a little backflip, shall we? Up and back. Whoa! <laughs> I like the way the camera goes. When she does a little handstand flip up, just showing off. She's also got a real-time shadow, as you can see there, that shadow. And it's following us around. It has a bit of issues. There's also different water shaders as well, which we'll show you in the second level. Um, they have made changes to that, so there's like a proper water shader in the game. This is pretty cool. Apparently you can, you can run Tomb Raiders 1 to 3, because uh, they all run on the same Tomb Raider engine. Um, I've tried Tomb Raider 2, and it has issues, it has more issues than this. I like the fact you can shoot two of them at once, that was pretty cool. She's got two guns, so why not? You know, you fall down there, you have to fight the wolves, but you know, may as well kill them in case we fall down. Uh, it's a lot easier to control than, you know, I have, because I have this game on Steam, and it's terrible. It's a terrible uh, port, you have to use DOSBox. There are mods you can get for, you know, Tomb Raider to, to get it to run. Um, but I find this the conversion is pretty nice here. The save crystals, as you can see up there, they do work. Uh, we're not going to save at one of them because I've already got saves later on in the game. 
Um, so we're just going to ignore them for now and uh, head on down here. So th there are some issues with the game. Uh, just uh, It doesn't support save states in RetroArch currently, um, so you can't save anywhere. Uh, Tomb Raider 2 seems to have a lot of issues. Um, I like, again, the music playing here uh, that you don't get in the PC versions. It is nice to play a PC version where you get uh, the PlayStation music. You have to extract the PlayStation music files separately, uh, but there's plenty of places online that you can find the PlayStation ROM. Uh, I used a program called CD Mage uh, to do it. I'll walk up to this uh, med pack and grab it. I like the fact you get a little preview of the med pack. The music's still playing <laughs> for the, the wolves there. I don't think there's any more wolves. Just jump around there. You've got a little 180 degree spin. So we have to pull the lever and open the door and get across there before the door closes here. The dramatic music is still playing. Right, we've got to get over there. So, pull the lever. Or the switch or whatever. Oh, we missed. <laughs> we did it in the cutscene. <laughs> Right, let's go and jump. You gotta press the way Tomb Raider works. You gotta press the jump button and then the forward button, and or move the analog stick forward as we're doing uh, here. Uh, so you gotta go jump and then forward. So that's one of the things. There's more darts here. Out. Oh, we got caught with both of them. You could try sidestepping them, but you, know, you hold uh, the, the the R right bumper or R1. Nice wolf. Down, boy. And these, uh, there's nothing else up here, is there? No, there's nothing else. These things just fall through when you fall on them. So we have to go and activate the switch and get to the end of the level. So there's the double doors there that um, activate and then they'll get us to the end. And that's the end of level one in the uh, Tomb Raider. I do like, I like the way it looks, I like the way, again, it runs, because that's one of the problems with the modern PC version. Right, I'll see if we can get across here. Oh, we just missed it. Took a bit of damage, I think. There's more darts here. See, that's that room we were in earlier. Oh, we got caught again. I right, use a med pack. So everything is as you would expect with the PlayStation controls, you know. The select button, or the whatever that button, the button with like the two screens, or the two squares on the Xbox One controller, that does that. Uh, X is jump, which is where square would be. Uh, A is the action button. Y is to bring out your guns. B is the roll. Uh, RB is to walk. So we need to jump and up we go. There we go. Made it. And LB is our look button here. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> oh, fell down again. Damn it. Let's do that again. This game is surprisingly good for a game that came out in 1996. 25 years ago now? So it is technically Tomb Raider's 25th anniversary this year. It's 2021. Uh, now, so, you know, 25 years of Tomb Raider. It does show its age, but it's still a fun game. Like, I wish they would remake. They have, well, they did remake. They remade it for the 10th anniversary, didn't they? Um, there was Tomb Raider Anniversary, it was, which was kind of a, a full remake of this game. But I wish they would just kind of release this version. Would be quite nice. I mean, the work's already been done for them. You know, the work's already been done there. Um, so why not release it? I mean, Doom 64 got released, and it had a lot of source ports. Uh, a lot of people just ran it in the original Doom engine with the N64 ROM as data, so... No more. Kind of... <laughs> the AI really couldn't pathfind. We've got a bigger med pack now. It's the same size as our backpack, yet fits in our backpack. I don't get that. There we go, we open the double doors. We'll flip around. And we'll get out of here. Oh crap, no we didn't take any damage. There we go, that was the first level of Tomb Raider. We found one of three secrets. It took us ten minutes to complete. And we got three pickups and ten kills. 
Let's go load up this level. This has the water shaders, um, which have improved. Uh, so you get the improved water shaders. I don't know what effects are running. It looks like we've got texture filtering in there. I don't know if it's just me or what. I think we have got some things in there. I mean, it is running at quite a high resolution. I mean, the original was like, what would it have been? 320p or whatever? 480p on the PC, maybe? Um, but the PlayStation version would be, what, 240p? 320p? Something like that? As a native resolution, you can see here, well, half the water shader's missing. Half of it's got the water shader. There are bugs. I mean, it's work in progress, this is, at the moment. Um, but yeah, half the water shader bug there. This is the, yeah, this is the bear in here. Nice bear! Yeah! Knows it's Lara Croft and doesn't want to mess with Lara. Oh, it's got a death animation. You see? It wasn't an endangered species until it met Lara Croft. Okay, so let's get uh, up here. I think there's a med kit up here. I'm pretty sure. Is there a med kit here? I'm certain there's a med kit here. Yep, there we go. We've got ourselves a med kit. I'll get down there. It's like a sort of area. That's where the, that's where the bear lived in there. There's a switch over there. Let's go press that. Make sure there's no bats or wolves. There are tigers later on, and again, the T-Rex. Probably the most iconic enemy in the game. That's what happened to the last explorer that came through here. They were skinned. Although they had a tail and Lara doesn't. So maybe it was a tiger. Right, let's... uh. <laughs> it's weird with our shadow there. That shadow wasn't in the original. That's new um, for this version. It's got a real time shadow as well. There we go. We made it. Let's see if we can get the med pack. Jump, Lara, jump. There we go. Got the music playing, and we've got a, a muriel of skulls, shall we call it. Nice work, Crofty. So we push this in and it lets us go up, I think. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since we played Tomb Raider. There we go. It's going in there. We can push this all the way in. Come on, Lara, use your girl muscles. You can do it. You can see where they're all attached, like with each polygon. Bah! It's dead now. Died on top of the box. Yep, on top of the box. I think there's... does it not? Ooh, there's a, a thing there. Let's grab it. You always have to walk up to the thing with R1 because you tend to run past things. So that's a gold idol. Well, we'll take that. This is not a boulder chasing her. So you got always got to walk, because you've got to be in the right spot to pick up this key of some kind. It's a key with a skull on it. That seems ominous. Oh, we hit the roof there. And so we've got to go up here and climb up. There's a dead bat. And there's another save crystal. Again, these work. Where's that bat? Where is it? Oh, it's above us. Behind us. Two of them. Might have missed. We did miss. There we go. Grab the. There's a med kit there. It's a big med. It's a bit. It's bigger than our backpack. I always find that weird. Yeah. So you can't um, do save states. So if we try and do a save state, it just says core does not support save states. Bit of a shame there that it doesn't support them. But you can just save. Uh, oh crap! Bat. Ah! Quit nibbling Lara's leg. There's two of them there. Two of them. Quite cool to see this. If, if someone could put ray tracing in it, that would be quite cool. Path tracing. Imagine a path traced Tomb Raider. That would be awesome. So that's the keyhole. Take it, we put that key that we found. Got a lot of bats. A lot of bats. Run, Lara, run. The camera's cutting us off. 
There you go. They're all dead. Lost a bit of health though. There we go. There's nothing along here, is there? No. Let's go back and use that key in the door. Or see if we've got the right key for the door. There we are, Crofty. You just press A and select the silver key. I like the way she takes it out of her backpack and puts it in. I like that. I like little touches like that. Is there, yeah, there is more arrows. Oh, we got oh, caught with two of them. Another nice doggy. Bad doggy. Dog or a wolf. They're both the same. They're both pack animals. Let's use a med kit. Oh, she feels better now. The dogs attacked us. Right? I don't know. I don't know what. I'll go through the door to the left then. There's nothing. I thought there was like a switch on the those statue things, but there isn't. Let's get through here, and there should be a, a water shader here. You can see her real time shadow. Yeah, you can see the new water shader there. We've got nice new water effects. Let's see if we can dive in. So you jump and press. Um, you press the walk button, the RB button, while you're walking and you can swim around. There's also a new shader effect on Lara when she gets wet, when she gets out, it makes it look all shiny. And as you can see, if we can never get up, running out of air, so try and get out of here. It's quite difficult to get out because it is, again, a work in progress, um, so you can find it difficult to get out of the water sometimes, as she's dived down instead of going up. It's cool because that water effect, the ripple effect, wasn't in the original, and neither were the reflections in there. So there you go, you can see she's all wet now. That was never in the original Tomb Raider. Um, that is new for uh, this version. It's playing the Tomb Raider theme now. Oh, oh, that's not what we wanted. No, Lara, go up to the top. That's it, Lara. You can see a reflection still in the water there. Alright, let's uh, walk. And a real-time shadow there. So that was never possible on the PlayStation. Right, try and turn and jump and... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! She gripped she, she on! Oh, no, oh, she stayed! Oh, she stayed! Nope! <laughs> oh, poor Lara. Playing the theme song though. Probably get copyright struck for this, no doubt. I'll have to turn it way down. But it's nice that you've got the music. Again, this is not in the, the DOS version um, that you get on Steam and GOG. The music just isn't there. Right, let's run to the edge and stand on the corner and then jump again. Jump and then move forward. Don't move forward, then jump and you just fall. Take it. There's a. Is there a a bat up here? No. Yep, there is. God damn it! Shoot it, Lara. Nice shoot. Killed it off screen. Let's jump and there we go. Got a nice view of the water shader there. So you can see this has been converted to, to OpenGL, as you can see, up in the corner. Um, so I think the original one ran on Glide, because it had like the 3DFX uh, logo on it. There we go. Nice work, Lara. We missed a med kit there. But never mind. Let's go drop down, and there's that shotgun shells lying there. We'll take them. I'll have them. Who left shotgun shells lying there? There we go, we're on the roof now. We're on the red roof there. So this is to the right we're going now. I think this is another jumpy puzzle. That we're heading toward, yeah it is. With stuff that falls off. Right, so let's get in there. And see if we can jump. I don't think we need these things to jump on them. The, the things that are going to collapse. Uh oh. Oops. 
Oh, Lara's getting wet again. No, jump out, Lara, jump out. Yeah, it's a work in progress, like we said, so. Um, but it's good that this runs. I mean, it's nice to get it running. It's nice to have little extra features in there as well. Now let's try jumping. No, oh, we missed it. Nope. Oh, we failed. <laughs> failed again. Ugh, can't get out of here. Come on, Crofty. You can do it. Nice work, Crofty. Alright. Long jump, maybe, or... Yeah, we're going to have to do the long jump. We're going to have to get that long jump. Oh, it's quite annoying. She she kind I think she kind of clips through the through the kind of the wall there or the edge. I think that's the problem. So we're gonna have to long jump it. So we run walk to the edge and then do a back step. Pretty sure we didn't do Lara's gym. She tells you all this herself. Uh, if you did the tutorial in Lara's house, yeah, there you go. Long jump successful. Uh, so yeah, you can go to the gym in her house and she will give you a tutorial on all this. I'm around, and we'll just jump up here. Nice work, Crofty. We made that one. Now let's go. Delicate little jump here required. Nice. Could have went the other. There's another way to go there as well, but it leads you to the same point. And again, jump. Look at the bat. Ah, this time. This time, Crofty was waiting for you. There we go, that's uh... Let's go open the middle door now. Let's go down... Oh, oh, oh crap, no, 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 oh! Oh! Crofty is dead. And we can't do anything! It won't reload the level, that's interesting. I guess you'll have to start the level again or load your save. I mean, there was a save thing there. Uh, yeah, you just have to reload the level or load the game. Uh, ooh. We'll load up that one. Uh, but yeah, so that's the third level, so that's at the end of that level. That was where our last save was. Uh, but anyway, that is all for this video. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you again soon, and goodbye.